All right, greetings. Last time we saw you in Back to Basics Part 1, we had created this basic website. There's a little bit, little bit of CSS. Basically, I've turned the background color of the website to something other than stark white. And there is some HTML here. Again, a very small amount. Uh, you will see that we have a heading and a paragraph that just says, this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph over and over. Uh, we have linked if, um, our style sheet into this document. Uh, quite clearly, it's here. Um, you know, if you don't believe me, we can come in here, go to our paragraph, and we can say the background color of this is, let's go for a slightly less dark shade of um, gray. So let's go with um, B, C, B, C, E, E. Okay, just playing around here. So if I come back over here and hit refresh, boom, you will notice now that the paragraph is clearly a different color. Later, we will talk about padding and margin as it pertains to the paragraph. You notice there is a little bit of margin here, but there's no padding. So we'll get to that later. But anyway, we have the most basic website. And you notice we do have a directory structure. We have a tiger, we have a style. We'll get to the tiger in a later video. And we have the HTML. And so looking at it in a Windows environment, you can see that we have back to basics, style, and image. So the point of this video is I'm done with the project and I'm ready to turn it in. And I need to turn in the whole package maintaining my relative URLs so that when um, I open it on the other end, me as your instructor, when I open it on the other end, um, everything works fine. Um, you know, probably the best way to do this is deploy it to a website that I can look at it or have a GitHub repository and share it. Not going to do that. We're going to do something really basic here. You're going to zip it into a zip file so that everything in the folder that you've created in is preserved in that way. So again, I have a folder here. Now, very important um, for me personally, um, you know, as a, as a civilian in the civilian world, as a personal person, I don't need to do this. As a student in um, a classroom, turning this in where there will be a lot of assignments similar to this, it is a good idea to put your initials at the front of the file. Um, put, so that when this becomes unzipped, it is quite clear whose project this is. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put my uh, initials at the front of the file. Mm. Okay, it doesn't like it because I have to close this down, so let's say save it, rename. Cool. Now we're good. So here's the way we're going to do this. There are a lot of tools out there, uh, 7-zip being one of them, but what is the simplest that comes with all computers out there is send to, and we're going to send this to a compressed folder. So if I click send to, zipped compressed folder, as you can see here, Boom, we have created a zip file. And now we have a single file that has everything in it that you can just simply turn in. 